I'm in love with fishing, and fishing's what I do. And if you want to try them up, I'll take you fishing too. Maybe in the morning, in the day or at night. It don't really matter, I just want to get that bite. We may catch a limit or maybe just a few. But even if the fish don't bite, just being out here do. We may fish the ocean or river running free. And if you catch the biggest one, it'll be alright by me. Yes, I'm in love with fishing and fishing in my life. So grab your pole and go with me. This is the life of a fisherman wife. Let's go pull them in. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, it's your girl Linda with the Life of a Fisherman's Wife. Uh, you, as we told you before, I am the one to do the uh, editing of the videos. And if there's a video that's a little bit too long, that we think is a little bit too long, we divide them up in two. So this is a continuation of the video that you just saw on Wednesday. Uh, I like this video because Fishing Ed's personality is coming out a little bit more in uh, the videos. He's getting a little bit more comfortable uh, being in front of the camera and I am enjoying uh, his personality and wanted you all to see it. But before we get into all of that, I want to thank all of my subscribers. I want to thank the old ones, the new ones, the ones that's watching and is not subscribed. Could you please subscribe? Uh, it'll mean the world to us. Uh, and it'll help us grow as well. And also, we met Jamal out on the lake. I want to thank him for being a part of our video. And if you see us out on the lake, don't be afraid. Say hi. The fisherman wife loves to talk, as Fishing Ed said in the video. Uh, Fishing Ed is, is more of a quiet person. Uh, he does not talk as much as I do, but he's just as friendly as I am. Um, uh, in the video, you will see um, a fish sandwich. I made a bluegill fish sandwich, and I must have been sneezing because that fish sandwich was seasoned really well. Um, it was delicious. I had never had one before, and I recommend that you try it. W whatever condiments that you'd like on it, you put on it, and it was really, really good. So I hope you all enjoy the video. Uh, we did, it was a tough bite that day. It was really tough, but um, we got some and it was it was nice one. So I hope you all enjoy the video. See you all in a minute. We're putting back. He had it bent like he was a good one, but. Nah, he was fighting like he was, but I'm gonna put him back. Yeah. Oh, I still got that gold tungsten um, tip with the wax worm. Yeah. Yep, yep. You got a wacky rig. You got it hooked in the mill. Yeah, because they was pulling them off easy. Yeah. The you can do it. I do that sometimes too. That's All right, good... I'm gonna let him go because I think he's too small. All right, he gone. Oh, I got one, y'all. The same spot. I'm way over here in this cold. I left London now. Over there. And I came over here. This is my third bite and my first fish. All right, I'm going to get him off so I can let him go. All right, I'm going to let him go. He gone. All right, guys, I don't know what this is called. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm fishing with. That right there. I don't know what those are called, but we just ordered these off of Amazon. We figured we'll give them a try. And uh, I think it was 20 bucks for 50, I believe it was. I'm not sure, but we gonna, s oop, got one already. Dang, he hit that on the way down, y'all. Oh, got him. That's a nice one right there. You see how fast he hit that guy? All right, I'm gonna get him off. All right, guys, look at that. 
That's a good one there. Look at that dude. Uh, man, that's a handful for me. Huh? Alright, we're gonna keep that one. I guess I'll send Linda a picture. Maybe she'll come over here. Let's see. Alright, I got another one, guys. He popped off the off the hook. I'm still using that that red, but they kept taking my meat off. So I eat them having the three of them on there. I'm gonna see if I can get another one right quick, but they still down there. All right, going back down in the hole. Let's see what happened. There you go, got him. Oh, he know. He's small looking that one. I'm gonna get that one off and get him back. All right. He gone. Going back down there again. He gonna hit it before it get down there, watch. They were hitting it pretty fast, guys. I told London they was biting over here, but she's doing her favorite thing over fishing, which is talking. So I'm gonna let her talk and I'm gonna keep on fishing because I'm doing my favorite thing. <laughs> All right, don't like they're gonna hit this one. My wax worm kind of ragged. I might have to put a fresh one on there. But we'll see, I'm gonna drop it down a little deeper. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to put a fresh one on there. Cause they still down there, but no takers yet. Yep, I'm gonna have to put a fresh wax worm on there. All right, I'm gonna get back with you. All right guys, I got another one. So you keep on talking. I'm going to keep on catching. <laughs> All right. Going back down in there. Many of them down there. Guys, three weeks ago, they was hitting it only if I raised it up and pulled it away from them. Now today, they hitting it on the fall and just setting still dead sticking i let it sit and i bounce it i let it sit bounce it again and uh i get a hit that don't work i go down a little bit deeper and sometimes they hit it while i'm going down uh, not this time i might he might have got my bait he when i first put it in there he bumped it so he might have cleaned it so Give him a little more time. There you go. Oh, he hit it then, guys. All right, I'm gonna let it stay down there. He didn't get it all, he got some of it. Come on. I need you to hit it and do it again like you did it then. Come on. All right, I might have to put a whole wax worm on there and tie some more. Still down there though. Go down a little bit. There you go. Oh, he hit it on the way down. You see that? As soon as I dropped it, dirty red. All right. Try it again. Try it again. Oop! I had him. I had him. He cleaned the guy. Look, he cleaned me. All right. All right. Got another bait going back down in there. I left my, uh, I was going to put the phone on my bucket, guys, but I left my, I broke my uh, otter case, and uh, I put some tape on it so I could use it today, and I left it in the other bucket over there by Linda, so now I'm just holding the phone trying to do it by hand. I'd rather have it on the bucket so I could just turn it on when I get a hit, but I'm trying to do it like this, see what happens. They've been pretty consistent, guys, you know? It don't take long before I get a bump. They either clean me or I get them. So sometimes they'll hit me three or four times, get half the bait off of there, and then I'll let it stay down there and they'll get it again. <laughs> oh, God, look, I got company. Hey. So I see you've been doing pretty well for yourself down here. I've been catching quite a few. I've been missing some too. 
Uh, there's some little ones mixed in with the big ones. And man, they were biting pretty good, but uh, right now, I just put a new wax worm on there. I'm waiting on another hit. They still down there, though. Mm, okay. All right, my hand hurt. Oh, there you go, got it. Oh, he came off. He came off. He didn't get the, all the bait out, so I'm gonna go right back down there. Man, I bet you, I bet you can't guess what I'm fishing with. What you fishing with? Those Amazon uh, jigs we just ordered. That I ordered for you? Yeah, that you ordered for me. Yeah. Okay. I ain't even on the hole no more, guys. Well, she's been, you still video? Yes. All right, I'm gonna turn this one off. It don't want to go off. It must want me to catch one on camera. It must do. My hand wet. That's what it is. There you go. I left my, if I know to come, I'm going to take you to bring my bucket holder. I left my bucket holder over there and I couldn't set it on my, uh, you might have got it off. I saw it over there. Well, you saw it and did bring it. I did not bring it. If I know you were coming, it's been an hour ago since I, I showed you I, I was catching them. I didn't know because I didn't look at my phone. No. Oh. I thought I heard you say, we might need to go over there. So you had to look at it at one point. I didn't look over there. He <laughs> said something. He said he might have quiet over there. He must be catching something. Oh. I didn't want to yell across the thing. So I figured. You better watch out. Give me some oh, guys. I got another one here. Right yeah. This is a good one right there. And look so, at that. Um, We're going to eat good tonight. I'm All right. I'm getting them off. Get back down there. Hey guys, we decided to come home and the fish that we call on the ice, we decided to make a meal out of it tonight. So I want to try, I saw Ken on Hook City making his uh, crafty sandwich. So I wanted to make me a blue gear sandwich since I'm the blue gear queen, blue gear girl. So what I want on my sandwich, I cut up some tomatoes. I don't think I want that big tomato. I think what you I want do with that bread? Oh, I toast my bread. You know, bread is not toasted until you put it in a skillet with some butter. So yeah, it's brown like I like it. I'm gonna put me a little lettuce on here. And I'm going to put onions. As my sister said, onions. Uh, my, my son used to eat onions and I like a lot of onions, y'all. Um, my son used to eat onions whole. I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna get some fillets. These are the bluegill fillets. Some of them are happened, and some of them are filleted. So this is a filleted one with no skin. I'm gonna get a few of these out of there. I think I want about three. I think that my sandwich will hold about three of them. I think that's good right there. So I want me some mustard. And I'm gonna put it on my bread on this side, just a little bit. I don't like to drown my food. That's fishing his job to drown his. A little ketchup. And you know you got to go with this uh, Holy Trinity. Right here. And Frank's hot sauce. Just a little dabble. I want that on the fish. That needs to go on the fish. Yep, we're gonna put him on the fish. All right, now don't be trying to run. So now we're gonna put the top on this bad book of them onions trying to get off that sandwich. Them, all right, put these onions back on there. 
and we're going to taste this sandwich. All right. Boy, he just want to fall off. First bite. I need another bite. I don't see why I didn't use that before. That is good. You want to try it? I've, I've done fish sandwiches before. I have never had a bluegill sandwich before. No. Oh, I feel so bad for you. It is so good. <laughs> well, now you know. Y'all, I can eat four bites and it's going to be gone. All right. We'll see y'all in a little bit. Guys, I'm taking the bluegill with the skin on. I filleted it. And I left the skin on, scaled it, filleted it, left the skin on, and took the real bones out. And this is good. Especially coming out the ice. Mm -hmm. It tastes um, fresh and very flavorful. Left that little tail on me, wipe that crunch. Good stuff. <laughs> All right. Guys, Fish and Ed is getting his plate. Yep, I got a uh, half and scored. I got a half one with the skin on, and I got a filet bluegill with skin off, two of them. So, that's what I'm eating. Plus, I got a sandwich too, y'all. Yeah, that's my sandwich. I'm gonna finish eating my sandwich. And then we're gonna finish this meal out today. And um, we're gonna eat all of this mm, tonight. And um, yeah, thank you all for sharing this journey with us. And if you haven't already, why don't you like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you all in the next fishing adventure now that fishing's over sun is getting low yes i caught a big one but i just had to let him go yes he was a nice one he was the biggest of the day show felt mighty good to me just to watch him swim away May not ever see him again, this I know is true. But now that he is swimming free, you might catch him too. Glad you came to fish with me, yes it was really nice. Maybe we can go again on the life of a fisherman's wife. Until next time, God bless and good fishing. Peace.